Hey y'all and happy Monday. New nails. I really don't like these. I really just should have did a whole set of these. But yeah, new nails. I just tried to put like some accent, like something different going. But this with all the nails would have been so, so cute. But I'm on my lunch break now and I'm about to go get some Chick-fil-A because I'm hungry. I have a doctor's appointment today. <clears throat> at 2 30 so i'm leaving work kind of early so i can go to my appointment because you know i have three appointments so i'm leaving work to go my appointment doesn't start until 2 30 so i have to leave here at 2 so i can go ahead and make it to my appointments but it looks like it's gonna rain outside today so i don't know I'm, you want some? For, I'm going to Chick Fil A. You want some for Chick Fil A? Okay. So that was my managers. I was just asking, them, do they want some Chick Fil A? But I want some macaroni and some chicken strips. So that's what I'm about to go get. But I gotta go home first. So I mean, they was gonna get the food late anyway. But yeah, so. Today is a good day. The morning was kind of stressed for me. I had to do a lot of praying yesterday. A lot of praying because I had to call on Jesus. I didn't really know what to say. You know when you just are overwhelmed and you want to pray but you don't know what to pray about? That was me yesterday. But I knew that I had to pray because the atmosphere was wrong. Like It was overly stressed and kids are a blessing but baby you really do need a village and i don't have no village i just have me so i had to call on jesus because that's the only name i know that's strong enough to this is so annoying sorry jesus is the only name i know that can change the whole atmosphere so that's all i could say i was so tired it was late at night and I was in a bed trying to get my two-year-old to sleep. Oh, they going that way. I was trying to get my two-year-old to sleep. So, you know, my daughter started coming in there playing with him. And I have my candle lit. And by them playing, she knocks over. She knocks over the candle. And it's just like, woo! You know, I had to reel a woo side because why are you here playing? I just told y'all to go to bed. But I had to pray because I didn't want to clean that candle wax up. I was already tired. So she came in there. She scraped it and cleaned it up and wiped it and all that stuff. But it's just the fact that I asked you to go to bed. Like, why are you not going to bed? I understand why this two-year-old ain't going to bed. But you nine and I asked you to do something. So it kind of bothered me. But I don't want to yell and stuff because that doesn't solve any problems. So I just took a deep breath. And then I, I caught on Jesus. And I eventually fell asleep because I was reading my Bible. I was trying to read, I put in scriptures that help when you're overwhelmed. It sent me to Corinthians, it sent me to Philippians and I started reading Psalms because it's just something about hearing the promises of the Lord, hearing the things that he promised that he's gonna do for you. It will change your whole heart, your mind, it will just put you in a different space. And I needed to hear those promises at that particular moment. And it really helped me. And I just thank God for being accessible. Like he's right there. He's through the, the books you read and he's through the teachings that you get at church. So I just thank God for being so accessible. Even though I can't physically touch him, he is still here for me whenever I need him. And I just thank him for being that type of God. Because even your friends are right here and they not right here. You know what I mean? They're physically right. Like they can be here and they don't be here. So I just thank God for being that type of God. Because it ain't nobody like him. I ain't never met nobody like him. And I've been born and I lived 34. I'm lying. I done lived 35 years and then I ain't never met nobody like him. So I just thank him for being that type of God. 
but i just wanted to get that out because people more than me go through stuff just because i have a lot of kids other people go through stuff too that might not be about kids it might be with finances or their husbands or their family members or friends or work whatever the case may be but everybody needs to be encouraged so i love the fact that i can encourage that's what i'm here for to encourage people to encourage other mothers to tell y'all about cheaper stuff that's out to tell y'all about shopping experiences all kind of stuff that's what i'm here for to show y'all the glam because you know your girl loves some glams and she loves some nails so that's what i'm here for and i just appreciate everybody that watches me for me everybody that subscribed because of me being me and not trying to be nobody else and just my personality and all those type of things just loving my vlogs i really appreciate each and every one of y'all that shows me some love but yeah, I'm about to get pull up to oh Chipotle, but no, um, I want some Chick Fil A. I'm about to pull up to Chick Fil A, and I hope it's not still breakfast because it's 10:44. So I don't know if they just sell breakfast to a certain time, but yeah, I'm about to get some macaroni. I want a um strawberry. I think it's a strawberry banana like fruits smoothie or something. They have the best, but I hate that it's only one size, and then. I want some chicken strips, so I don't know. That's like a whole separate. It's not even a meal, but that's what I want. So I might pay a little more, and that's okay. But I see y'all when I get my food and show y'all what I'm eating. Do you know your girl gonna go over tick to TikTok? Cause I be trying to be active on TikTok and do stuff on TikTok. So make sure y'all um, follow me on my TikTok. I put it in the description box. Follow me on Instagram so y'all can see the cute nails I be doing. If y'all want to purchase some, y'all can DM me. Y'all can follow me on Facebook and go on my messenger and say what nails you want. I need to sit down and I really need to set up a website because that's really going to help my generate more clients. But I just, it's probably something I'm going to do after I had a baby. But I don't talk too much, y'all. And some people don't like that, but some do. So I just see y'all when I get my food. My slow self thought I was recording, placing my order, but I wasn't. Oh, that stuff costs $15. I can't wait till I be pregnant no more because baby. I just don't really cook as much because I can't stand up that long. So, I be making like fast meals. And so when I... And it don't be no leftovers. That's another thing with so many people in the house. Nothing no... It don't be no leftovers. So, yeah. Come on. Come on. Mm, come on come on mm, mm, mm. everybody come on <laughs> guys thank you for this food that we're about to receive for the nourishment in our body we thank you for just allowing us to be able to eat this bless the hands that have prepared it and bless us as we eat it in jesus name we pray amen i don't know where i was just driving to i was trying to drive in part so I can eat my food, but I don't like to sit by other people and eat, cause baby, what you looking at? <laughs> so I'ma just go right here. Even though somebody right here, it ain't nowhere else to go. My stomach hurt. I got the windows down, I hope that's okay. So this is my favorite drink from Chick-fil-A. I got this frosted strawberry lemonade drink. It's so good. And then I got my food, which is just a medium macaroni and cheese and a four piece chicken strip. So I'm about to eat. And I'll see y'all when I get done eating. Hey y'all. So I'm off of work. I'm leaving early, as I told y'all before, to go to the doctor. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm on my way to the doctor. My butt bone is hurting so bad. Like my right one, every time I get up to walk, I can feel it. Just, I was gonna say percolating, but I can feel it. Whew, it's, it's not that hot out today, but you still need the air on while you're in the car because the car is really hot. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm on my way to the doctor. I'm about to get the same stuff that I got or that I'm going to be getting every doctor's appointment. So yeah, I think after this, I only have two more doctor's appointments after this. Depending on if the baby come or whatever they wanna do, I'm not sure yet, but 
I'm pretty sure she'll tell me the closer I get to my due date because we did talk about going over and I was gonna get a C-section, but I'm not gonna get it anymore because I'm currently not sexually active. And I, to be honest, I don't feel like I will go back to being sexually active. And there's a lot of things with that and that can be a separate video. Maybe I do a, a video, which I know y'all probably like, great, I see these kids, it's too late. But I will do a separate video on why I choose to, at this particular time in my life, to just be celibate or celibate if i'm saying right celibate and not have sex anymore or not date anymore but somebody was telling me like about the not dating anymore because i am in church and god does you know want people to be brought as one in marriage and stuff and i'm not saying that i won't ever ever get in another relationship but at this particular time in my life i just don't want to do that there's a lot of other things that I want to do and I just feel like being in a relationship is not one of them. I want to focus on my business more and my YouTube more and the same stuff I was doing at first, but I don't want to take any time away from those aspects of my life to be dating because dating is a full-time job as well, whether you believe it or not. Being in a committed relationship, the type of relationship I want to be in, it, it takes time, you know, it takes effort, it takes um, accountability it takes all those things I just don't want to be dating for nothing which I kind of felt like that's what I've been doing I've just been dating to which is not my fault because I obviously don't cheat and things like that but you know I want to date with a true purpose and I want to date with a purpose that God has blessed me to date with and I haven't been doing it and I feel like that's why they haven't been working out because I haven't been involving God how I'm supposed to in my relationships so yeah i went too long with that but yes i'm just choosing to not do that at this particular moment but yes we're going to go to the first appointment which is an ultrasound to see how the baby is growing in my belly and then the that's like 30 minutes the next appointment is me to sit and get monitored which i'll record again but it, it's really nothing just it's a stress test to see how he's responding to see how he's responding to contractions, to see if it's overly, if he's overly working too hard or he's stressing or whatever the case may be, whatever they're looking for. That's what I'm gonna do. Then after that appointment, I'm going to go to my actual doctor's appointment where she's gonna stick her fingers inside of me to see how far I'm, how much I'm dilated. So last time I went, I was only like one centimeter, so. Probably no change, probably still one centimeter, maybe two. I haven't been doing anything extra or just extravagant to be like, ooh, your service is opening up more. I'm just doing my regular walk and taking care of the kids, the regular stuff I always do. So I'll just see y'all when I get there. And if I feel like it's something that is worth me recording, cause it's really just the same stuff. And I recorded this for another video, which I haven't posted yet. I just have to get around to editing it. Editing it. I can't even talk but yeah then i'll just record it but if not i don't want y'all to keep saying the same thing like every appointment it don't be nothing different but i'll be back good afternoon y'all and happy with nope tuesday oh i got burp shot happy tuesday i just got off work i'm about to go to amazon and get all my packages i got some nail goodies and my baby bed is supposed to be getting delivered, but it's not here yet. So I'm waiting on that, but I got some nail goodies. I'm super excited about them. I did a new nail set. Let me see if I can get it out of my bag. Ooh, this bag is so heavy, baby. Okay, here we go. I'm about to show y'all, oh shoot. I'm about to show y'all these nails that I just did. And if you like them, you can DM me or you can message me on Facebook or even send me a message on here. And I know a lot of y'all are following me on Instagram, so I will get back with y'all. But I did this little pink set right here. I made a few little marble nails in there, but I was feeling like pearls, like pearls for the girls. So yeah, I did this little set and it's so cute. I'm starting to love this stiletto shape. 
even though I'm a coffin shaped kind of girl, that stiletto shape is starting to speak to your girl. But yes, I'm about to go to Amazon, well, the actual grocery store, and get my packages. And then after that, I'm going to pick my son up and I'm going home. I plan on doing like two more sets, but I do have to clean up a little bit. I have to wash the dishes for sure. But I plan on doing like two more sets. And I'm going to show y'all those when I get done with it. Your girl is praying for a minivan. I want a minivan because it's about to be seven of us. And I just need that space. I just need that easy access, that enough room for everybody because your, your girl don't plan on having no more kids. So a minivan for us seven would be perfect. So everybody pray, you know, for me that that is something I'm trying to accomplish in within this year. You know, after I take my, my maternity leave, I'm going back to work. I need to get some gas. So I want a minivan. So we're about to start praying for that right now and manifesting that into this atmosphere in Jesus' name because his name speaks miracles and his name is above all other names. Um, yeah, so I'll just see you all when I come from getting my packages. Okay, yeah, I got my packages. There were four of them. So let's just open them up so we can see what I got. I should have cut the phone on because it's hot. Okay. Sorry. This is the first thing I got. Um, this is just some glass crystal A and B rhinestones. Let me put my on. So I keep making the noise. Yeah, this is just some rhinestones, and it came with like some tools to go with it. Looks like this. I'll show y'all a picture when we get home, but this is some rhinestones I already got. I just needed some extra ones, so I purchased that, but I already got some of those at home. I'll take a picture of it for you all when I get to the house. And this is some rhinestones as well. They're like some silver crosses. Um, that's all. They're just silver crosses, if you can see. See that? Just silver crosses. Okay. So I got two packs of those, but it came in a pack of one. And that's for like a gothic set. If I want to do like a gothic set of nails. Or some black nails or something like that. I think that'll be cute for that. I got another package right here. Oh, that's not even my address. <laughs> okay. And I got a few things in this package. I have some rhinestones that are like, I think they're plastic, but they're like iridescent looking. And they're all different shapes and sizes. So I got that. I have some eyeball stickers. It's called Pop Finger. It's 30 different nail designs in here. So I'll show y'all what they look like. And I just put off like half of my stickers or whatever. So this is the first set right here. The second set. I really like those. Those are really cool. And this is the third slide. The fourth one. The fifth one, these are cute. The sixth one, and the seventh one. And those are all the nail stickers that I purchased. I'm just gonna put them here. And then I got some pearls. It was packaged like this, and I'll take it out. This is for nails as well as designing my daughter's shoes but mostly for nails so this is how it looks it's just a lot of different sizes and shapes of pearls really cute so i picked that up and it came with two rhinestone pencils like to pick the rhinestones up you just have to sharpen them so that was really really cool and i have one more package which is this right here And it has two, three things in there. So I wanna decorate my daughter's shoes for uh, when she goes back to school. So I bought some, they said this was some good multi-purpose uh, adhesive. It says B7000. 
so it looks like this and i bought that it had good reviews on amazon so i picked it up i also have some beautiful nail star now so this is i don't know what this is oh i'm trying to open it up let me get my little thing so i can see what it is I be trying to think of what I bought and then I'm like I don't know what it is but six color collection so I bought some nail polishes and these are more for like the nudes these are perfect summer soak off nail gels six color collection and I'm gonna swatch these when I get home but this is how the box looks like this and then these are how the nails come nail polish comes I, they got good reviews so when i get home i'm gonna swatch them for you and show you but this is how they look you can't really see the colors so just be looking for that in the next clip and the last thing i have is this right here and it is i think these are some pearls i'm not sure what this is now y'all don't let me get the line hold on What is this? 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 Oh, this is some rhinestones. So it comes with this little container right here. It comes with a brush. And it comes with a rhinestone pencil. And then you have the colorful rhinestones. Now this is for nails. But again, I was going to use this for her shoes as well. They really got this wrapped up. I like that. So none of the stuff on waste out. Okay. Woo. These are some really pretty colors. That's kind of why I got it, because the colors is popping. Come on, baby. I need to get some gas, but I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't feel like it. These are all the colors. They're all different shapes of rhinestones down to a small, up to a big, up to a big. So yeah, I wanted to do some rhinestone sets with these, like some colorful rhinestone sets. So I got these, but I also want to use these on her shoes. But I wish they came a, a lot bigger than this, but this is really cute. So I'm excited about using all the things that I have. That's everything I got. Only thing I'm waiting for like is my baby bed, but I got everything else. So we're about to go and pick my baby up, my two-year-old. And then <clears throat> we're about to go home. So I'll just see y'all when I get home to show y'all the swatches of the polishes that I just purchased. And I think that's pretty much it for today. I think I'm going to install a wig because I have my hair braided to the back and I had on a wig, but I ain't gonna wear that wig. So I think I, because my hair is already braided to the back and I don't plan on washing this out for a minute, I'm gonna install me a wig, but I don't know how to do it y'all. So I don't be expecting to look fire, but I'm gonna do what your girl can do. Cause I got on these lashes. I might as well put a little piece, little piece of wig on. But yeah, so I'm gonna see y'all in the next clip.